Hello everybody, it's so Let's Play Gothic 2 Night of the Raven Part 4. As your host, my name is Zexor. Thank you for being here. Last time I wandered around a little bit, I got my uh, seventh, I think it is, death uh, to a pair of uh, young wolves. There's another bonfire over there. Interesting. Excuse me, I, uh, I'm suffering from allergies again. Some days it's worse than others. Today appears to be one that's worse. I muted the microphone during the sneeze, but, uh, yeah, I didn't really do anything at the time. Anyway, so there's another bonfire over there. I wonder, let me think, orientation-wise, that might be Lester. Don't know for sure though. I don't know. There are blood fights over there. Anyway, so last time uh, I um, died to a couple of wolves. I helped Cavalorn more really. Cavalorn helped me <laughs> be able to defeat three bandits. Um, I went to a farm, helped uh, Maleth and a couple people there. And then I came over here as part of the quest. I got a frying pan, you can see, um, which uh, I needed to return for part of the quest as well. Um, and I think that's about all I did last time. So now I'm going to return that. Uh, I've been told that uh, Canthar here is a slime bucket and everything. But in all honesty, I I did kind of indicate last time, I think. If I didn't indicate, I was thinking probably the favor he wants me to do is something that's going to be painful or that I don't want to do or whatever later on. But um, given that I chose to, to go ahead and accept the favor, I'm just going to play the game that way. Because realistically, if this were 100% blind and I wasn't you know letting know afterward, I would probably have just done that. So I'm just going to go ahead and follow the quest blindly. So I'll owe him a favor in town. And so I'm going to run this way. And see... These are just other farms, aren't they? These aren't the guys I was already talking to. I don't think... Maybe they were. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Because, like, that's around the bend. That's the way I went on the road. So that's true. Alright, well, let's go over here then. I was trying like, this could be the same, but I wasn't paying attention to orientation initially. But yes, it absolutely is the same, so. Lobart, what's up, buddy? No, I need your wife. There we go. Your wife had the pan quest. <coughs> Hilda, here you go. Hey. Give me the gold, and I'll go see the merchant for you. Are you saying I can trust you? Just don't spend the money on booze, do you hear? There you go. Here's your frying pan. Fine. Let's see, then, whether it's any good. Can you give me something to eat? Here, take this. You're a good lad. Yeah, it's because I'm awesome. Okay. So now... Go back out and talk to Lobart again. Ah, and not get stuck on the wall of the building, apparently. What's up, hey. buddy? Uh huh. Have you got anything else for me to do? I don't. If you can ask my wife or the boys in the fields, maybe they need some help. All right, uh, let's do this. Dirty by clothes. I need I some sensible it. clothes. I can give you clean farmer's work clothes. Can you pay for them then? How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll <coughs> see. You've worked the field for me. You help my wife. 
Malice said you chased the bandits off. The bastards have caused us a lot of trouble. Thanks to you, we're rid of them. Forty gold pieces. I am sure. Give me the work clothes then. There's a chest in my house where you'll find clean things. But don't even think about taking anything else without asking. All right. A chest in here, huh? And I don't I don't know sneak. I've you know, with forgetting other stuff, I don't know the sneak skill now, so I can't even try to rip them off really. That but I'm not gonna do anything. Anyway. Okay. Farmer's clothing. Didn't it say it was different protection? I think this is the one I'm supposed to take though, right? Let me do that. I know I'm gonna sneeze here any second again. <laughs> okay. Hey! It's another, uh. Whatchamacallit? <coughs> Alright, let me, um. Do this. Let's do. I'll do over game one again, I think. Yeah, it's two over game one. Here's another death, maybe. We'll see. Nope. Cool. Got Nothing it. to be had there. Young Field Raider. Maybe you shouldn't have been raiding people's fields. You ever think about that, chomp? Another ring of stones. Is there a creepy underground tomb in here again? <laughs> no, there's another young field raider, it looks like. Or maybe an adult. Probably a young. I don't know what, a, what an adult looks like, That's how it's different, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, made sure my timer's going. field raiders up by this uh, ring otherwise so far it seems like it's just some random ring which is fine I'm not saying it can't be that I'm just saying you know oh, healing root very nice very nice very nice very Nice. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, okay. And there's something over there.
<coughs> excuse me. <coughs> yeah, if I don't say as much in my videos, then uh, hopefully you guys realize or learn uh, by watching my stuff. I am actually paranoid of stuff. Sometimes I make choices to prove my paranoia. So sometimes, we'll go ahead and take this. Uh, sometimes, you know, I'll be like, yeah, this is going to totally... I, I know I say this often. Maybe I didn't say it last time specifically. I know I do say this often, though. Now, this is totally going to get me killed, or this is this is totally going to be bad for me later on, or whatever. I do say that stuff. I know sometimes, at least. But I am pretty suspicious in games. Like, I, I pretty much assume... The vast majority of time, people are out to screw me over, um, like characters, and uh, and that I can't trust people. Uh, I assume that uh, something that looks really obvious is probably a trap, stuff like that. So I really, really do. So if it, if it looks like I make dumb choices, probably I'd say about half the time, I do it on purpose just to prove my paranoia. Because sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I'm like, oh, you totally can't trust so-and-so, and then they're awesome. And I like that. It's a pleasant surprise, right? So sometimes I'll make a choice specifically to see if I'm right or not. So so if I make a dumb choice, don't necessarily... I mean, and, and in a game like Gothic 2 especially, obviously, I have other save games and stuff. So I can totally, uh, I can totally just reload. But, um, but yeah, basically just assume that, uh, there's a good chance, not always, sometimes I am dumb, but there's a good chance that I basically am doing something on purpose. Hey, you, Onar's Rebellion will have serious consequences. <laughs> I prefer to keep out of it. Yeah, sounds like there's going to be some fighting war, kind of like the camps. Wait a minute. Since the barrier around the penal colony disappeared, we've had constant trouble with the bandits. Of course you have, because they were, uh, convicts. Vino! Hey, <laughs> you sound like, Hey, Vino! Don't mess you up, I'll give you some cement slippers and make you go for a swim with the fishes. And how goes the work? Well, same as always. Lot to do, not enough money, and... With a bit of bad luck, the orcs will come tomorrow and burn down our farm. The <laughs> king's paladins have occupied the whole city. But I can hardly believe they'll move their butts out here when the orcs attack us. Can I help you? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about working in the fields? What is there to know? Uh, <coughs> in that case, I think we're fine here. Thank you. If you want to work for Lobart as a day laborer, I can only warn you. He pays people like you really miserable. But you didn't get that from me, understood? Is there any interesting news? I could have sworn I saw an orc over there on the edge of the woods two days ago. Since then, I've kept at least one eye open at night. I'm headed for town. And? Is there anything interesting you can tell me about the city? Nope. But Maleth goes to the city from time to time. Maybe he knows something. I mean, something that would interest you. Alright. Oh, I should, uh, by the way... Now that I have it, I should probably put my... Farmer's clothing on, huh? So I... I actually look like a farmer. <coughs> So, orcs over at the woods. That's not cool, probably. And I heard, I was told that orcs in this game totally own you, so, compared to the first one, so. Probably don't want to fight an orc quite yet. Oh, well, that's down, and I can't really get down quite yet. Well, I guess I probably... There, I mean, it's over by the road. There's that guy. Is he a ba he's, he maybe he's a bandit. I don't know. There is a path slash stairs down here. So let's do. I know I just saved it, but whatever. I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go down this way and see.
Oswald is dead. Hey, you, come here. What is it? On your way to the city, and really busy, too. Listen, you look like a smart guy to me. I bet you'll go far in life. You're certainly nobody's fool. I could see that right away. Say, you'd probably like to earn a few gold coins, wouldn't you? Are you hiding from someone? Of course not. What nonsense. I just enjoy standing among the trees so the wind won't blow right into my face. What about you now? Do you want the job? <laughs> uh... You don't look like someone who has gold. Well, I certainly don't move in the same circles as a gentleman like you. But you won't refuse my small contribution to your surely considerable fortune, will you? Well, what do you say? Can I count on you? I've got to be good. <coughs> so you won't help me? I remember that, pal. We'll meet again. Hey. One more thing. Listen, kid. I've got important things to do right now. We'll talk again later, got it? So I missed out on a quest. I don't know if I want to do his quest, but let's do this. Let me reload this and I'll take him up on his quest, I guess, and see. I didn't realize about the city guards was going to quit. Because I was actually planning on accepting his quest to see what it was. So let's... Psst! Hey, you! Come here! What is it? On your way. Listen, you're sure... Say! Are you high... Uh, what? You don't look... Well, but you won't... Well, what? Cut the crap. Tell me what you want. You see, that's exactly what I mean. Nobody gets anywhere with you just by using pretty words. I knew it. I'm dealing with a tough businessman here. You're a businessman and certainly interested in a small addition to your purse, aren't you? Why not? You'll have to forgive an ignorant old seaman. I'm a stranger in these parts and I don't really know all the rules. So I had to find out the hard way that traveling strangers aren't welcome in the harbor city. Now I'm standing here with no idea how I'm supposed to get into the city. I have some extremely important business to conduct and my client won't tolerate a delay, you see. You'll help me find a way to get past the city guards, won't you? Hmm. About the city guards. Yes, got an idea. Uh, uh, uh. You could get into the city as a herb gatherer. What? Do I look like I'd be picking flowers in the woods? What about bribery? Well, if that worked for me, I'd have tried it already. All right. Give him the clothes, give him the pass. Give him the clothes, give him the pass. See, so it gets rid of my armor is the problem, right? So, let's do this. No, I have to think about it first. All right, but hurry up about it. I've got no time to lose. Okay, let me see what happens. Let's do this as Xor 2. Hey, you... 
about the city. Yeah. See who does if I do this one. They should let you pass if you're wearing these farmer's clothes. That's just what I need. Man, I know I could count on you. Nobody will bother me disguised <laughs> as a local yokel. <laughs> Excellent. You did really well. Here's your promised reward. What? 50 measly gold coins? You can't be serious. Gold isn't everything, my friend. Take them for now. I have the feeling that we'll be seeing one another soon. And who knows? Maybe I'll return the favor. Look after yourself. So I do that, or... Do this one, where I give him the pass I just got. Hey. About the yeah. I have a pass for the city. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to act like I'm a citizen of the town or what? Take a look at me, boy. Nobody's going to believe that. So yeah, so I give him the farmer's clothes is what I need to do if I want to fulfill the quest. Uh <clears throat> I will get more armor, I just don't know how soon, but... Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and do this, I guess. They should let you pass if you're wearing these farmer's clothes. That's just what I need. Man, I knew I could count on you. Nobody will bother me this... Excellent. What? Gold isn't ever... I have the... F and who knows? Alright. So, and I'm sure he's going to screw me, and I'm sure I probably needed those clothes. Huh. So, uh, it looked like a stone or something. Um, so I'm going to save this as Zexor Pirate Clothes. Leave that one there. All right. Um, so I'm back to my old garb again. Ah, uh, it's funny. All right, I'll just draw one. And kill you. Hopefully, I'll kill you. there just experience nothing else just experience just experience oh hi I didn't even see you Eat a dark mushroom. I'm supposed to eat those as well. Or digger meat, but digger meat's a lot. I'll eat these. A couple of these. Alright. Pirate clothes. Alright. Um. Alright. I don't know how that works, right, but they might be more dangerous out at night. I'm not sure. Like in the first one, right, you were told not to go, like where there are dead ends and whatever. You were warned at the beginning. And one of the other things they told you was actually specifically not to be out around at nighttime. So, scroll of something. Scroll of stuff makes me tough. I run around while in the buff. Okay, maybe not. Uh, 
Maybe I should go camp briefly. Um, yeah, probably. Probably should camp briefly. Unfortunately, in this game, I think I said this before, but in this game, jumping does not get you any extra real estate. I wonder if that's they noticed that in the from the first game and decided it was a glitch. They didn't want that to be the case. But in this game, in Gothic 2, at least for sure. You try to... What's up, Hilda? I'll sleep in your husband's bed. How's that? <laughs> uh, if you... In this one, if you try to jump, it just jumps. It doesn't actually gain you any advantage distance-wise. So... I'm sleeping next to Hilda. That'll probably creep her out, but that's what I'm doing anyway. Alright. She didn't care. Strange man in her bed. Maybe she's not a maybe she's not a stranger to that. Maybe that happens a lot to her. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Harlot! <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding! Hey! Hey! Stop writing your hateful comments. I was totally kidding. Jeez, you guys are so touchy about that kind of thing. Alright, let's see. Uh, I did not notice this before. This green kind of standing out. Is that something to pick? Meadowberry. Boom, like that. Another meadowberry. Okay. In fact, unless you have. Uh, there might be another one in this game, right? Potion or spell. But unless you have something that will magically increase your haste, or increase your uh, speed, I should say, like something of haste, unless you have that, I think, probably, you cannot outrun stuff in this, in Gothic 2. I could be wrong, but in Night of the Raven, it seems like that's true. So, it's another giant rat, giant ratage thing. I can't remember if these guys attack me in a group or not. I'm thinking no, but I don't remember for sure. One. Yeah, it's not like wolves. They're not doing pack mind. It doesn't. Oh no, they are. Crap. 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 Okay. Ha <laughs> Made it. Made it past that one. Water. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. My nose is... I'll do that. All right. And I get more meat from the giant rats. So that makes up for the two I just had to consume just now. I couldn't remember they attacked in groups. Apparently they do. <laughs> they're, so they're also pack animals. They're uh, social, social attackers or whatever you want to call them. All right. Makes sense. You have rat swarms in re in reality, so it makes sense that they would join together to fight you. Nothing back here that I can see anyway, since the branches are in my way once again. Oh, piranha bites, you should have cut the trees a little higher from the bottom, so it's not impossible. I can see sometimes having them low when they want to hide. So I guess it's true, though. If they want, if they do that so they can hide items, right? Maybe so they're harder to find. You don't want it to be a giveaway. Oh, look, low-lying branches. Could there be an item here? So I guess having them all low-lying makes sense. It's kind of not my... Not my druthers, not my preference, but, you know. Whatevs. Obviously, there are certain limitations when you plan something like that. You gotta kind of make sure it's not a giveaway, right? Like, well, der, of course. Ooh. 
here, blood fly, blood fly, blood fly here, blood fly. There we go. Oh, it's normal. It's not small. Uh, it's gonna be bad. Oh, I gotta run a little bit. I gotta run a little bit. And hopefully not die when I turn around to fight him. Oh, so he didn't follow me. That's probably a good thing for me, even if... So I got Stu gives me 20. Let's do that. Slow, uh, fast, much faster animation. That's good. Alright. <coughs> Alright, let's go back. See if I can again fight my buddy the blood fly. That was probably gonna kick the tar out of me. Butcher my head. Butcher my head. Oh. You didn't keep aggro? There. There we go. Now you should keep aggro, right? There we go. There we go. Nice. But I can't get uh, anything off him. Again, because I don't have the knowledge about... I don't like have like hunting or whatever the skill's called. Tells me that. Alright. There we go. Ooh. Nothing there. Like that one. <laughs> and Siemens Grog. I don't. <laughs> he has one point, one hit point. I don't know if. Right, let's do this. Dark mushroom. Dark mushroom. Dark mushroom. Dark mushroom. Um, fish soup is ten. Do that. Sounds good. Alright. Yeah, I kind of probably shouldn't be seeking blood flies out so I can... Well, it's the same with wolves and stuff too, right? I'm just like seeking stuff out but not being able to take any of their parts to sell them later. Technically speaking, I'm missing out on some stuff, right? But... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, uh -oh. Uh, that is going to be bad. I'm pretty sure those will kill me. Wow. Should I try? Ah. Ah. Here's where Zexer gets his eighth death. Uh, okay. The other thing is, can I draw them one at a time? Or basically, are they going to all come? There's you. You will probably kill me. Almost certainly. Especially because I don't do a lot of damage with this weapon and I have no armor now because I gave it to the pirate, but we'll see. We'll see how bad it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One hit. <laughs> All right. I will not fight the snappers right now. Uh, wow. <laughs>
All right. And he did a sudden lunge at the end, too. He didn't give me no, giving me no chance to say, okay, you know what, never mind. So, huh. All right. I was pretty sure. No armor and not a very good weapon, even if I did get a hit off, yeah. All right. And there's stuff down on this way I could go to also. I saw like some blood. Like, you know, like somebody had been killed. So, I'm thinking there be something to fight over here, but there may be also items to loot. Gold. Hey, I got a piece of gold. And a healing plant. And maybe another death. Rusty sword. Is that going to be better than what I got? Maybe. Can I even use it also? 30 strength required. Yeah, no. I've only got what? 15 strength. <laughs> That's funny. Healing plants. Not a lot of healing plants, that's for sure. Here we're going to, in just a little bit, probably, we're going to find out how badly Canthar screwed me over with the pass, right? Where if I give... If I don't have the farmer's clothes... I probably can't get in with the pass. Pass is probably friggin' useless, I'm guessing. <clears throat> that was my initial thought, was the pass is gonna be useless and I'm basically just gonna be out. Like, have to, like I'll owe him a favor later, but it won't be anything useful or whatever, right? Like, it'll be a hard favor, something I won't want to do. And I didn't get anything out of it because the pass was useless or something. That may not be true, but that's what I was thinking. Hammer? Hammer probably requires more, even more strength, huh? Uh, er, oh, it's just, oh, it's like in the first one, it's just like an item you can sell. Or whatever, like a tool. Or maybe you need it for something later in this, I don't know. <clears throat> but, uh, okay. So the sword only requires 20 dex, and it does 40 damage. Versus this, which is 30 damage, and requires strength. So maybe, actually, if I can get my dex up... I have 10 learning points, so maybe I need to go back to Cavalorn and train. Get my dex higher if I can. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's first continue down this way. Poker? Saw. Silver ring. All things I can sell. What does this scream to you? A big free, big freaking bloody corpse with all kinds of items. Like multiple bloody corpses with all kinds of items here. Uh, probably you shouldn't keep going this way. What am I going to do? Keep going this way. That's right, because I like, I like doing stuff that's unwise. Alright, well, let's do this. Pirate clothes. for items I want to find the I you know it's funny I know all of you are like no sex or no and that actually makes me happy <laughs> the more I make you guys like get into it and like get even irritated possibly at choices I make I think the more entertaining it's going to be to watch oh that's going to be at least probably an adult field raider if nothing else should I draw? I should probably not right now drop down from here, right? Because probably there's no way coming back once you're down. Or, well, there's a way back, but it's a really long way around. And I'll never find it without I'll just like nothing but die. That is the kind of decision I will not make here. Because I would, even though I like do stuff that, you know, makes you guys slap your foreheads and bite your tongues and pound your keyboards. I still, uh, you know, there are still some limits to foolishness I'm going to engage in that, where basically 
effectively I'm gonna have to reload an earlier game and uh, or else irrevocably destroy my game probably those are choices I probably won't make just FYI <laughs> then I can't really go how do I oh you know what I wonder if I can just can I just climb do a climb action over here maybe Oh, this is too high, though, I think. Maybe not. Oh, no, it's not. Alright, that's cool. I wasn't sure if that'd be... If, I, if I'd be able to reach high enough to get that. Digger meat. Digger meat. I love to eat. Digger meat. Uh, uh, uh. I can just go like this. Jump. There we go. So jump is useful. Just uh, not for outrunning things. I think it's pretty much almost exclusively for getting around objects. Around and or over objects, right? So what it seems to me... Seems like that's all I could do. Or all it's useful for. That makes me a little sad. I liked that as a speed bonus in the first one. <laughs> I like being able to like, Ha! I may not even have haste. You still can't catch me because I can jump and you can't. But, in all honesty, that is sort of a cheater way of doing things, isn't it? Realistically, a wolf could jump. And a wolf could jump a whole lot farther than you can. Tons farther. Tons. Uh, yeah, yeah, I slide and get stuck on the geometry. Really? I am stuck on the geometry. Wow. Huh. Oh, nope, okay. I was able to dislodge myself by hitting uh, strafe to the side. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm going to have to reload. Um. Huh. And it just keeps going around, around, around. So you could basically never enter the city if you want. And here is my way up. So actually, it wasn't totally like game changing and destroying me as I thought. <coughs> now, let's see if. I don't think these guys are social. I don't think. Because there's the one cave that had two of them, right? And only one came. But, we'll see. Yeah, Field Raider. Uh oh. Did I even... Yeah. He's an, I thought he might be a normal one. Alright, that's death number two. <laughs> or, sorry, eight, uh, seven, eight... What am I on? Eight or nine? Something. I'll know post-vid. Anyway... So that was another death. Death, yeah. So that field raider. I was thinking those were probably not baby field raiders. So uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> Clearly, I'm out of my league here. I'm out of my depth. So we'll just go back to the city, which is where I'm supposed to be heading anyway, right? All this extra stuff, just side extra. You know, wandering around stuff, so. Um, Alright, we'll just do that, I guess. And then this. And that. Jump over that. Oh, uh, yeah, I probably can't, can't stay up here on this, huh? Maybe I can. Can I? Oh, yep. There we go. All right. All right, all right, all right. I know you guys want me to move on, probably. So I'll go ahead and move on. 
Is there anything under the bridge really fast? Like actually under the bridge itself? Oh, there's gold. Gold, we'll go, gold. Is there more gold? Did I miss a second or was it just the one piece? Maybe there's just the one piece, I don't know. IDK, IDK, okay. What? All right. Seriously, there we go. Like seriously, let me get over. All right, your pirate's clothes. Okay, yo. How? What is it? You aren't getting in here, my boy. Why not? Looking the way you do, you're sure to cause nothing but trouble here, boy. And we got enough rabble in the city. We have no use for people without money. I'm bringing some herbs for Constantino, the alchemist. Really? Then you won't mind showing me what you brought. Mm, looks good. All right, in you go. But don't cause any trouble. Understood? All right, my other way. Let's try the pass. All right. How? What is you? Look, we. I've got a pass. Really? And who you kill for that, you cutthroat? Now, will you let me pass or not? Well, go on in before I change my mind. <laughs> uh... All right. Lothar? Oh, stranger, I am Lothar, paladin of the king and humble servant of Innos, your lord. Our commander, Lord Hagen, has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply to all inhabitants of the city. Since people have started simply vanishing all over this town, everyone needs to watch out that they don't suffer the same fate. The townspeople are simply disappearing? Yes, it seems to be more every day. It's most annoying that the militia have still not been able to discover what's behind these strange occurrences. Small wonder that the town's inhabitants are very wary of strangers right now. So don't provoke them when you're in town, understood? I've heard a thing or two. Okay. Will it ever change? All right. Explain the rules of the city to me. First, the Honorable Paladin Lord Hagen resides in the Upper Quarter, along with his troops. That is why access to the Upper Quarter is allowed only to honorable citizens. Second, the Town Hall in the Upper Quarter is now the command post of the Paladins. Only the Paladins themselves and members of the Militia have access to it. And third, whoever is accused of a crime must exonerate himself with the Commander of the Militia. Any questions? Um, it's really not my problem. How do I become a citizen of the town? Only those with regular jobs will be considered citizens of the town. But don't think that you'll be admitted to Lord Hagen just because you're a citizen of the town. As a citizen, you have access to the upper quarter, nothing more. Only as a member of the militia will you have access to the town hall. Where can I find work? You'll have to apply as an apprentice to one of the masters here in the lower part of the city. As soon as a master accepts you, you are a citizen of the town. However, the other masters must agree to it. That's the custom here in Corinthus. If you were thinking about looking for work in the Harvard district, forget it. The scum of the city live there. Don't even go there. You would regret it. really not my problem. How do I get to the upper quarter? Say, are you listening to me at all? You're not a citizen of this town. You can save yourself the trip. The guards won't let you in. The entire area behind the inner gate is off limits to you. That's the first time I've heard of it. Uh... That doesn't surprise me. 
How do I get accepted into the militia? By express command of Lord Hagen, only citizens of the town will be admitted into the militia. I see. If you want to know more, speak to Lord Andre in the barracks. But no. Yeah, he's not even going to tell me how to get in to get to the upper corridor until I can actually do so. Uh... What do I have to do to get armor like yours? What? You aren't even a member of the militia! You're not even a citizen! How can you even think of being allowed to wear the armor of a paladin? Only a few militia soldiers, those who have performed extraordinary deeds, have been granted that honor so far. If you want to be a paladin, you have a long road ahead of you, my boy. So <laughs> Where can I spend the night here? If you're looking for a place to sleep, go to the hotel directly across from the barracks. The paladins pay for the lodging of all travelers who come to the city. The traveling traders from the marketplace are also lodged there. I'm guessing that is going to be nothing. I'm not going to be able to give it to him, clearly. Uh, and that, I don't know. I just wonder if that's like if I'm trying to become part of the militia or something, so... I've got to go. As long as you're in Corinus, you can feel safe. The king's paladins watch over this city now. Right. With people randomly disappearing that you can't explain. How am I safe? <laughs> uh, okay. We're going to go ahead and call this part here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. This has been Let's Play Gothic 2, The Night of the Raven. Part 4. My name is Zexor. If you've enjoyed this, please like the vid. I'll see you next time. And uh, we'll all look for some work, um, talk to some people, and see what's going on in town. So, until then, peace.